In this video, we'll be creating a car blinking effect which was requested by one of the viewers and I thought it's a fun idea to make a tutorial on and I'll be showing you how to create this effect and deal with it in different situations as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got this car shot here. It's pretty simple and stable. Now the first thing you want to do is determine where you want to have the blink effect so you don't want to track too much. So for example, I'm going to go with this area and up until here should be enough. Let's go ahead and create a mask around our headlights. Okay, I'm going to hit M and set this to none, so I can work on the second one. Okay, let's make this one none as well. And we'll go into the tracker here and select track forward. If you're not seeing this, go into window and make sure you have tracker selected and it should appear right here. Make sure you select both masks and let's go ahead and hit play. As you can see, it tracked it pretty well. It doesn't have to be too accurate because the effect is rather quick. Okay, this is great. Let's go ahead and copy these masks and create a solid. We'll call this matte. Let's copy these masks from the starting point here. And I'm just going to shorten this. And let's set these masks to add. Let's hide this layer for now. Now, in case you thought this may be a blinking tutorial where the eyelids lit up for a second, then you can use the exact same mask matte we just created. Just drop an adjustment layer with a deep glow below it and alpha matte with some feather on the masks here animate the opacity of your glow and you basically get the same effect just in case this is what you felt and duplicate the car layer we tracked on we'll call this eyes go ahead and freeze this frame so time freeze frame and let's delete these masks now we need to select an area which is rather close to the headlights so we can use it as eyelids. Usually the hood would be your best option, so let's just select a rough area from here. And let's hold control and double click our anchor point here so we center it to the area we selected. You can go ahead and track this so it'd be more accurate, but our effect is going to be only like a few frames so I don't really see the point. Let's go ahead and scale this up by just a bit and we're going to position this right here just until it covers it. Okay, we can go ahead and adjust it, make sure we still see only the hood. And let's go ahead and add an effect called CC Split. You can use CC Split 1 or 2, it doesn't really matter, they pretty much work the same. Let's go ahead and drag this here, and our second point over here, like aligning with the car, and let's set a keyframe for the split here, Hit U to bring it up, let's move it forward a few frames and let's open up the eyelids, like so. Let's copy this second keyframe and maybe have it stay on for another frame or two and copy our first frame here so we can close it off. Let's select it all and hit F9 and let me, let me just show you, this is basically what we got. Okay, now this is pretty fast, so let's extend this just by a bit here. Okay, now let's put this under our matte layer and set the layer to alpha matte. And boom, we've got a blinking effect already. Now as you can see on this frame, you can see that it's not tracked. So this is why you can go ahead and track it if you want to. Or just manually adjust it a few frames, you know. So here we're going to go like this and boom. But this really depends on you. Now another cool thing you can add is go into the eyes layer, right click, layer styles and select inner shadows. And we get those inner shadows that looks pretty cool and sells the effect a bit more. Maybe set the distance to 2 and the opacity lower like so. And you can go ahead and change the direction maybe like this. Now all you need to do is duplicate this layer. Let's go ahead and see where we moved it and let me just rotate it and position it on our second eyelid let's play this back boom and there you go you've got this eye blinking effect done now another thing i want to show you instead of using cc split uh, the only reason i want to use it is because it gets this kind of spherical eye type of effect here but if you go ahead and disable this you can go ahead and create a mask and let's just rotate it here and set this to subtract so the first keyframe is going to be like so, 
move a few frames and animate it manually. We basically get the same type of effect here. And let's go ahead and copy the first frame. And there you go. And this can work better on like taller headlights or different type of angles you might have instead of using the CC split. So just know that this is possible using a mask as well. Now let me show you a few tips of dealing with night footage for example. As you can see we have these glows around the headlights and the light is reflecting on the ground here and we can't really get rid of it. So what I thought it would be a nice idea here just to sell the effect a bit more. Uh, I simply created a mask around the headlights and where they are reflecting and added a levels effect with some opacity with the exact same keyframes as when the eyelids are opening and closing. It just sells this blinking effect a bit better and this is something you can use on some night shots maybe. And on this shot for example we have some of these headlights leaking around here as you can see and what I've done here is basically created a mask around these areas. Uh, I've chosen a hue and saturation effect, went to the yellows and basically I disabled the yellows so this is what it looks like without and this is with. So again, this is just a few frames of something that sells the effect a bit more that you can add uh, depending on your shot. But yeah, this is the eye blinking effect. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.